Justin's got the first fish of the afternoon on here. Nice fish. Pretty one, man. Now he's, you got the best guide <laughs> on the lake, man. But it Look at that. About three minutes. Look, I gave him a, that was all one cast wonder right there. <laughs> Good fish, man. Are we keeping him? How big is he? Uh, I, I got a measure. Yeah, We're see. fishing measure him. Brandon with the first cat. <laughs> now I know some catfish guys. I don't know. But if he was, he'd like to cut that up and use it. Down. You want some good catfish bait? That right there. I'll probably get no better catfish bait than that right there. there but you go. he won't eat as good as Justin's crappie will. I gotta get that cat in the water. <laughs> I don't know. Good fish, man. All right. Let me see that puppy. There we go. That's starting, a good fish. Starting to do it today. To the cooler he goes. All right, Justin's got another one set here. Want this black nose. If you'll look, Justin's using them. He's got some chartreuse too. That's a black nose, pretty fish. He carries his black all the way back to his first set of fins there. How cool is that? Here comes Brandon with a good fish. Oh yeah. There's a good one, guys. Pretty fish, man. Oh yeah, that's real nice. Tell me, guys, you can catch fish from the bank. You just gotta move around and find them, just like you do in a boat. So my my jig is shot. is the difference in 10 fish and no fish. So you have to pay attention to your colors and when your buddy's wearing them out on one color, you gotta make a switch. Here we go, now look here. I wanna show you. Oh, I gotta show my buddy Dayton Blair here. See this rattling float? That's a Dayton Blair special right there. I wasn't going to break that out on Justin today, but now he's made me look bad. 
and uh, had to break out all the tricks on it. I did switch to a monkey milk jig. And, uh, had that little chartreuse head. He's pretty fish. That's good. Glad to have him. Got nothing on the board, Dad. I want him having a little crappie nibble. <laughs> all right. Oh, the smaller fish moving here. He's gonna do it. But he's pretty. Pretty fit. Yeah, he's gonna have to go back. Still like catching. Alright guys, just to get wrapped up today, I want to show you a little bit about what we've been doing and uh, how this has been working for us again, like it does a lot of times off the bank. But today uh probably had the best luck on a chartreuse and monkey milk both. Now I've got a chartreuse head on here, monkey milk body, and I've been using a little chartreuse crappie nibbling on the, on the tail end of it. And chartreuse is what they wanted today. They usually uh, have good luck with monkey milk and just a regular steelhead or a red hook. Today they wanted that chartreuse and that's what we ended up giving them and it, it paid off for us. So, you know, sometimes you bring your buddies out here, your cousin to your spot and they catch all your fish and make you look bad. But, you know, it's still a good time either way. We had a great time out here fishing together. And, uh, you know, it just goes to show again, we, we bring the boat out a lot. We do a lot of fishing on the boat. But, you don't have to have a boat to come out here and catch fish, guys. You can catch them from the bank. We beat the banks a lot, actually. I do a lot of just going in the evening when I get a little bit of time or something, I'll stop and hit the bank somewhere. And had several people stop in where we're at today and they've, they've come in here fishing. So take advantage of that. Get around on these banks, do some bank fishing. I promise you, you can catch a lot more fish that way than what you think. Just use a simple setup like this, this jig. Now we do use a float a lot. I'll go ahead and show you what I got here. This is just a little bitty Mr. Crappie. It's a little little float that's it's got rattles in it. And that's just a little bit extra attractive for them. It kind of makes them, you know, I guess gets their attention to come on up and hit that jig. But we do this because when you're on the bank and you get hung in that tree, you can't just pull up on it like you can at a boat and get it loose. So we try to stay above the brush piles by keeping it on this little float. And it does a real good job of it. So well, we're gonna get these crappie home, get them cleaned up, and we're gonna get back out here at the end of the week, probably bring the boat with us where we can hit some more brush piles. And I think these fish are starting to get up in the creeks pretty good, so we'll see how it goes.